Hello everyone, welcome back to the uh, channel. I've got a little bit of news to run over and cover for you and I'm going to try my best to get this out either on the 16th, which is when I literally just got the announcement, or the 17th, which is probably when you might see this. However, I'll try my best. Uh, let's hope. But if you appreciate the content and if you like this type of content, please subscribe. Also, the streams are back now that Celtic season is fully underway for those that haven't been able to join us for them. They're back underway now anytime that Celtic are live. Most likely you'll find me live covering it as well. Of course, I don't cover the actual game footage, but if you want to hang around with someone that knows ball, then subscribe and that way you'll be able to keep track. You can put the, the bell on so that you have notifications if that's what you want to do. However, it's not necessary. Just pop in at some point and say hello. It means a lot. So, yeah. So let's go on to the topic of today's video. We've managed to finally get our, I guess, third choice centre-back now that um, Starfelt has departed. And before we get on to our new centre-back, I want to talk a little bit about our old one that has just departed. Now, Starfelt has left for around 5.2 million euros, I think's the all-in deal, to RC Celta. And I've seen a lot of people disliking him for it. But uh, I'm definitely not one of those people. I thought it was a pretty respectable deal. I thought that Starfelt deserves a chance to play in a much better league and you know as much as I love the Scottish league it's not as good as the top flight of Spain. Spain have a lot of uh, lot of good teams plus it's closer to the Vasi that he's, uh, that he's dating obviously for those that follow the women's team Jacinta was also a, a, a women's uh, Celtic player and she left to go towards I think Spain or Portugal so it makes sense for those two uh, if they're you know together to <laughs> realistically be closer and of course playing in a better league with better weather on a better wage you can't really turn that down so uh, as much as other people might be hating on him i'm certainly not one of those people so carl as much as uh, as much as it's sad to see you leave you've been one hell of a servant and i wish you the best in the future thank you for everything that you've done for us best of luck man but we have replaced him and it's the good old saying of one swede in one swede out and of course we brought a swedish replacement and now i can't say that i watch a lot of scandinavian football but one you know, league that I watch a little bit of, at least when I can, is the Swedish league. And Ilksborg is a team that have a really good track record of producing solid Swedish youngsters. And this guy falls perfectly into that bracket. Now, um, for those that don't know, his name is Gustav uh, Lagerbelke, which is a pretty weird name. I'm not going to lie, but it's funny that there's a guy called Lager coming to a Scottish league. You know for a fact there will be songs about a lot of alcohol in his name. The chants are going to be fucking amazing, let's be real. But he signs for £3 million um, on a five-year deal from Ellsborg, and I think that that's going to put a lot of pressure off of the defensive situation as of now, because, of course, we've seen a lot of the kind of early season shudders in the first two games. Now, we haven't been perfect, but we've won both games, but we have conceded three times. And the big things that we've been complaining about is the fact that we need a goalkeeper, a left-back, another centre-back and ideally another winger so that Maeda isn't getting run into the ground every match, but we've managed to tick off that centre-back option, which is always nice, so I'm, I'm happy with that. The big thing to look at is the fact that he can play both centre-back options, and that's always kind of nice because the big problem that Celtic have had at least in the last, you know, I'd say about 24 months is the fact that we have players that play in individual slots brilliantly, but if you ask them to mix and match, they don't tend to, to play very well. I mean, the only option that we've got like that right now, as sad as it is, is Liam Scales, which just wouldn't be comfortable for us to go into a Champions League campaign with him as a third choice. So this was the kind of tit-for-tat signing that kind of made sense, bring in a tall, physical Swede, but he can use both of his feet. That's the big thing that I've seen. He's very competent in the air, and he seems to be... Definitely one player that can improve a hell of a lot under Brendan Rodgers. It's like one of those players that you know Brendan Rodgers can develop into something special. And the thing is, the, the guy's 23. You know, he's like what, a year older than I am. So he's got plenty of time to become one hell of a player. And like I said, on a five-year contract, it means if worse comes to worse and he stays the entire time, we've got him here until he's 28 years of age, which is just quite nice. So realistically, I'm quite... Fuck, I'm, I'm actually really chuffed with it. You know, we've brought in some really good signings, and you know the ones that we brought in uh, recently, and Yang and Quan and 
obviously the fact that we've been able to make them adapt into the team and the fact that we've got Johnston coming back to injury relatively soon as well but we're still looking into players for those that don't know Ryan Fraser's still on the cards and could potentially be coming to Celtic if not permanent then potentially on loan it's still iffy there's not really too much that's uh, known about it as of now but I think it's in the kind of rumour mill stage and the other rumour that I would probably prefer if I'm being honest with you is Daniel Podence from Wolves which would be a very good signing, especially for the system that we play, because he gives me Scott Sinclair 2016-2017 vibes. I feel like he would be that type of player for us, and if we can get him, brilliant. That's all there is to cover for this video. Like I said, they're relatively short and sweet. I try and wrap these up so that you can get the basic dose of uh, the news as quick as you can possibly can. But if you like this sort of stuff, like I said, you can subscribe and you can go and check out other videos that are up there somewhere. If you would like to uh, and yeah that's uh, about that hope you have a lovely night or day or whenever you may see this and yeah enjoy <laughs>